Hey, what's up guys, so you know it's best here. I just got done watching the Sony PlayStation event where they have officially announced the PlayStation 4. So it's gonna jump right into it and talk about some of the details that they talked about of the system and also some of the games are gonna be coming out for it. Now, first off, they talked about some of the specs of the system and we'll be featuring an eight core CPU. So it will be an x86 processor and it also will have a second chip as well. Now the second chip is gonna be mainly for game downloads and processing like uh, uploading a video or downloading software updates at the same time while you're playing the game. Now, most of these systems require you to not be doing anything while this is going on so this is pretty cool they're going to be using this dual chip set and the system will also feature 8 gigabytes of gddr5 ram and they didn't really spend that much time talking about the gpu but we can expect that thing to be really pushing out a lot of power there um, and you'll see by some of the games here i'm about to show you here in a second but another big thing they talked about today was the dualshock 4 controller now the big thing with this new dualshock controller is that it does have a touchpad very similar to the one that's on the ps vita which will allow you to interact with games to look around and do a lot of different touch gestures and stuff like that it'll also have a headphone jack and it'll also have a light board that'll be used to help identify the controller who's playing and also too if you do have a 3d camera i'm pretty sure they're going to be releasing this alongside the playstation 4 uh, a 3d camera will be able to track that light bar on the controller so you'll be able to do some type of motion gaming probably with it as well and now the software itself on the PlayStation 4 looks to be totally redesigned. It's going to be looking new. It's going to be a lot more social. It'll be integrated with Facebook and Ustream and other social services like that. Uh, so you'll be able to do cool things like that. But some of the cool things with the software is that, um, say you're in the PlayStation Store looking for a game and you find the game that you want. While you're downloading that game, the digital game, you'll be able to go ahead and start playing the game as well. So you'll be able to play all the parts that you already have downloaded. I know it sounds a little bit weird, uh, but it's going to be pretty cool. You'll have instant play from the games that you're downloading. And then also you can preview the game before you buy it. So Sony PlayStation 4 will support um, instant streaming for games. So now you'll be able to stream the games to your, your system, play it, and then if you decide to want to buy it after that point, you can do it right then and there. Another nice thing about this system is that it will have a suspend resume function. So meaning if you do press the power button while you have the, the system on, it'll kind of just put it in a, in a sleep mode with a very low power state. And then when you press the button again, it'll wake right back up. You don't have to boot the whole system again and take two or three minutes. It'll, you'll be able to start your game right where you left off just by pressing the power button. And now speaking of streaming, you'll be able to now share your games while you're playing live over the internet. So the DualShock controller also has a share button. So you press that button and now you can broadcast this out to your friends. They can actually watch you playing the game live. And it also has some cool features where say you're in a tough spot in the game, you can't get through it. You can allow one of your friends to actually tap in remotely to your game system and take over the controls and play the game from their house and help you get through that part. And it's, I think that's pretty awesome. And also you can allow them just to really watch and leave comments while you're playing saying you suck or something like that. And this also ties into the PlayStation cloud services which will allow you to play games from the playstation one two three and four no matter where you are it'll be able to stream the games to you and staying on the topic of streaming the playstation 4 will support remote play which is basically just the same thing that the wii u allows you to do so say you're playing uh, the playstation 4 game on the console on the tv but somebody wants to come in and watch tv you can stream that game directly to a ps vita and play the full playstation 4 game on that Vita. so the same thing with the wii u that you can do with the gamepad and now this also ties into the playstation cloud services which will allow you to stream all the games and this is really going to be their backwards compatible um, solution that they're offering for the PlayStation 4 and also because of this Sony has confirmed that the PlayStation 4 would not support any PlayStation 3 games that are on physical media discs you will have to stream them or download them digitally to the PlayStation 4. Now, one thing I didn't think that Sony will be talking about, but they did talk about the PlayStation Move, which has been a total fail, in my opinion. But they're going to be bringing the PlayStation Move and allow you to use it with the PlayStation 4. And it, it, it has some possibility. It looks cool. I don't still see how this is going to tie in in the long run. But you can do things like you can paint in real time um, using the PlayStation Move and the camera. And you can kind of draw and, and build things and stuff like that. And they also showed a little demo of somebody playing in this little rock band and playing with the guitar and stuff like that. So I'm not really sold on this whole PlayStation Move thing, but if you are a fan of the Move, you can use this on the PlayStation 4. And let's talk about the games. Now, Sony spent the majority of this two and a half hour press conference showing us many game demos from a lot of different publishers and developers out there. Um, they showed us uh, Infamous Second Son, also showed this new racing game called Driver Club, uh, which has basically been in development for many, many years. And you take every aspect of getting inside the car, bucking yourself in, and then you're able to race and compete in different competitions all across the world, of course, with other people multiplayer wise. And then also, too, they showed us Watch Dogs, which has been a game they showed at E3 last year. This has been confirmed to be coming to the PlayStation 
PlayStation 4. Again, another awesome demo showing you how you can really control the world. And then it also showed us Destiny, the game coming from Bungie that Bungie just announced really, or I think earlier this week or, or late last week. But anyway, this is the next uh, game from Bungie after the Halo series, uh, which is going to be proven to be a, a very massive game like always. And then but I think the, the big game that really showed us uh, what this PlayStation 4 can do was Killzone Shadow Fall. Now, Killzone has been a franchise that always produced very good visuals, and they gave a real-time live game demo. He was actually playing this on stage um, of the game, and it looked absolutely amazing. Even though this was streaming over the internet and the quality wasn't absolutely like if you were there watching it, um, I can really see that this game is, is producing some really awesome visuals. I said awesome a lot in this video already, but the visuals really did look impressive. And then at the end of the demo, he showed us the PS4 sharing services because he shared that video clip. It was about a seven and a half minutes video clip. He shared that immediately to their Facebook page, and I uh, was able to go there and watch it in HD, and it happened pretty seamlessly. And so that's basically it, guys. That's basically everything that showed us at this press conference. Now, you're probably scratching your head like, wait a minute, I didn't actually see the console itself. I didn't see the Sony PlayStation 4 system. That is true. Sony did not show us the actual system at this uh, event, and they didn't go over any of the pricing, but they did announce that the system will be launching the holiday season of this year, 2013. So start saving your money now because this system, maybe alongside the new Xbox, will be coming out by Christmas. All right, so what are my thoughts about the PlayStation 4 from what Sony has showed us? Well, I am excited for it. I'm not overly excited for it. It didn't blow my pants off, but I think the PlayStation 4 is going to be a very complete system. That I think they're really going to be trying to catch up to Microsoft and what they've done with Xbox and Xbox Dashboard and all those different things about you know your social sharing and, and, and media consumption and things like that. And I do like the fact that you can do a lot of things in the background with that second processor, downloading updates, uploading uh, game clips and things like that. But in the end, it does come down to the games, but it looks like Sony has a ton of developers on board and it looks like everybody again from Bungie to Blizzard is going to be bringing Diablo 3 over um, to you know everybody's going to be on board with this PlayStation 4 so I think they're going to be on right on track but again we got to wait for pricing and wait to see what other things this console can do as far as the media and things like that I think there's a lot more that we need to learn about this PlayStation 4 and Sony is kind of holding some things back and we'll probably unveil a lot of that at E3 this year so, alright guys this wraps up my Sony PlayStation 4 event recap leave a comment down below what you think about everything Sony showed us today about the PlayStation 4. Were you disappointed? Were you, are you excited for it now? Or was there anything that was missing that you wanted to see or hear about? Leave that comment down below. And thanks for watching, guys. And I will catch you later. Peace.